Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we studied about SAP R by three architecture, and we discussed we have three layers: presentation layer, application layer, database layer. Presentation layer is user interaction layer. It means how I will connect to SAP applications through presentation layer. Presentation layer is the interface between me and the SAP applications. Now the question comes, we are talking about that we will access the SAP application or we through presentation layer. It means we require something on the presentation layer. With the help of that, we can connect or we can access the SAP applications. Suppose simple example, I want to search some information on the Google. It means I require Google Chrome or Internet Explorer on my desktop. With the help of that only, I can search the information on the Google. It means I have Google Chrome, Internet Explorer on my desktop. Same thing is applicable here. If I want to access SAP applications. It means I require something on my desktop or on my local PC. With the help of that, I will connect to SAP applications. So the answer for the same is how I will connect to SAP applications through SAP GUI. But is this GUI stands for the full form is graphical user interface with the help of GUI you can access the various SAP applications it is very easy to use graphical interface and you can access the SAP applications many people always confused where the presentation layer or presentation server is simple your Google Chrome is on your local desktop it means where is the presentation server, where is the presentation layer. Once we will install SAP GUI, it will be on our local desktop, it will be on our local PC. So where is the presentation layer or presentation server? It is your local computer, it is your local PC. Wherever you have the SAP GUI on your local machine, that will be a presentation layer or presentation server. So simple, simple understanding. Presentation layer is a user interaction layer. It means we require something on the presentation layer so that we can connect to SAP application. And that is called as SAP GUI graphical user interface. Now, we have three types of SAP GUI. SAP provided three types of graphical user interface. The first one is SAP GUI for Windows. In that case, what will happen? In that case, your GUI will use SAP GUI that is dedicated to Windows operating system. So in that case, your SAP GUI will be available or will be using Windows operating system and you will get a window like experience. So we have Windows. Yes. And if we have a SAP GUI is on Windows, so that is called as SAP GUI for Windows. Now we have second type of SAP GUI also SAP GUI for Java. In that case, your SAP GUI for Java, yes, we have whole environment. It is written in Java and it is platform independent. It is platform independent. Those who know Java, they know, yes, Java is platform independent. It does not depend upon the platform. Suppose simple understanding. I have other operating system. Suppose I do not have Windows operating system. I have Linux operating system. Some people now have MacBook now. Yes. So in that case, yes, your SAP GUI for Windows will not work. In that case, you have to go for 
SAP GUI for Java because it is platform independent. It does not depend upon the platform at all. Now, now we have the third type of SAP GUI also. SAP GUI for HTML. In that case, what will happen? How, how we will connect to the SAP server or how we will go for SAP application. We have a web browser. We have a browser on the client side and we have a internet transaction server on the server side. So in that case, what will happen? So on our machine, yes, on how we will connect to SAP server through web browser itself. So we will connect to SAP server through our browser. So on the client side, we have a browser and on the server side, we have an internet transaction server. So we have three types of SAP GUI, SAP GUI for Windows, SAP GUI for Java, SAP GUI for HTML. Maximum time 99%. Yes, you will always find SAP GUI for Windows in the projects. Yes, because yes, we have Windows platform and we have SAP GUI available on the Windows. So what is the summary of that topic? This topic we started with very conceptual thing. Yes, that how how we will access the sap applications through sap gui so if someone asks you where where is your sap gui available you can simple answer it is on our presentation layer or presentation server so always understand your local pc local desktop is your presentation layer or presentation server where you will have SAP GUI and you will connect to the SAP applications with, with the help of that SAP GUI. So we have three types of SAP GUI, SAP GUI for Windows. In that case, yes, our SAP GUI is on Windows operating system and we will get a window-like experience. SAP GUI for Java, it is platform independent. So if we have other operating systems, we can go for SAP GUI for Java. In case of SAP GUI for HTML, yes, we have a web browser and on the server side, we have an internet transaction server. Now in the next video, we will also study if you have a setup of SAP GUI how we can install SAP GUI. But in the projects, we always have a SAP GUI available. So there is no need to install. But in the next video, we will study how to install SAP GUI. So that's it in this video. Thank you.